Hello from the show floor in Las Vegas. This is the Snowflake Summit 22 at Caesars Forum. We've been live the last day and a half. Lisa Martin here with Dave Vellante covering a lot of ground. We're so excited to have the Chief Marketing Officer at Snowflake join us next, Denise Pearson. Welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you so much. So great to be hey, here with you. you. So great to have you here at Summits as well. Yeah, Thank that's you. unreal, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, everybody's so excited to be face to face and you know, Lisa and I have been doing a few of these shows, but we, we hear the same thing over and over. It's like, oh, so good to be back, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, even in the keynote yesterday when we got in, we saw standing room only, there were overflows. People are ready to hear from Snowflake in person. And as we were, you were just talking with Frank, I think the 2019 show had less than 2,000 people and now here we are at close to 10,000. This step leap yeah. factor in terms of the audience and also the momentum of the company, the capabilities, a lot of growth in that time frame. Yeah, no, again, two, three years ago, we were about 1,800 people at the Hilton in San Francisco. We had about 40 partners attending. Uh, this week, we're close to 10,000 attendees here, uh, almost 10,000 people online as well, and over, over 200 um, partners here on the show floor. Right, 250 plus sessions, breakouts, keynotes, technical certifications, developer zone, a lot going on here. The buzz has been enormous from yesterday morning, it still is today. Talk about the theme of the event, the world of data collaboration. We've been talking a lot about data collaboration. Yeah. But from Snowflake's perspective, as Dave, you've pointed out, that really seems like quite a differentiation of where Snowflake is versus the guys in the rear yeah. view mirror. I mean, one of the very unique capabilities with Snowflake is that ability to share data with each other within your ecosystem. So you can uh, both uh, collaborate now on, on with your data, but also collaborate on building you know, new business opportunities uh, together. So uh, I think it's really a message that uh, we, we, we fully, fully own, and it's really a unique uh, differentiator as well. So you used to talk about, you still talk about data sharing, but it's kind of evolved the messaging to collaboration. Explain why and, and how is that a wider scope and more appealing to the ecosystem yeah. and your customers? I mean, data sharing is a terminology we've used for, for years and years. Sure. And for many, data sharing is about using you know, FTP or you know, APIs, those things. And we, of course, do it in a very, very different way where you do it without you know, APIs and that you can share data with anyone in your ecosystem without the data actually ever leaving, ever leaving your, your instance. So it's in a very different way. And also the fact that you can, uh, again, you know, build applications together with other companies you know, in your ecosystem. And it's a, it's a true collaboration around you know, data in a way we've never seen before. The other subtle change was the data marketplace to marketplace. Why that change? Explain kind of what's behind that. Yeah, one of our big announcements here uh, this week is around uh, building uh, native you know, data apps in all snowflakes. So now you can both uh, you know, build the apps and you can distribute them and monetizing them in a marketplace. So in the past, you know, we only really had data sets within our uh, marketplace, within the data marketplace at that time. So you could then, you know, you can publish your data, you could monetize your data, but again, now moving forward, you will also be able to again build apps and distribute them in the marketplace and also monetize them. And for mon many startups, right, the, the big challenge is just that monetization piece as well. You build your product, but you also need to find a way to, to both distribute and, and monetize it and invoice for that product. And uh, we solve all that for, for our customers now. A lot of customer growth. I saw Frank's slide yesterday, over 5,900. I think you have 500 plus in the Forbes Global 2000, a tremendous amount of growth in customers with a million plus ARR. Yes. Where are the customers and the ecosystem in terms of that, that what you just described in the, going from the data marketplace to the marketplace? Are customers and, and the ecosystem influential in saying, hey Snowflake, we need to go in this direction? Yeah, and also one key thing also with larger companies, they have their own marketplaces built you know, on Snowflake as well. So you don't have to publish your, your, your data or your app on our marketplace. But many of our larger com companies, they're building the, those own marketplaces around themselves you know, to distribute their data you know, to their partners. So uh, there are many ways you can, uh, again, distribute and, and monetize your data. What are the marketing challenges? You, you started out kind of better data where simpler data warehouse, cloud data warehouse, zero to snowflake was kind of the, the messaging, and then the rise of the data cloud, and now it's all about a applications. You're obviously building on top of that, but how, how, have you, how do you think about that sort of messaging architecture going 
you know, where you've come from and going forward. Yeah, obviously with the capabilities of the data cloud is kind of building and building you know, every day. And it's also a positioning that we can you know, grow with as well. Um, the big difference you know, for us over the past two years is really that we are more and more really talking to the, to the business side you know, of our, our customers. That that's really where the demand is coming from. And we're truly, you know, with the data cloud, we're truly, you know, build, bringing the business side and the IT side together to solve these, you know, problems, and also, also together with all our partners as well. And I was just going to ask you, what, what's the partners' role in the data cloud narrative? How do they help accomplish that? I would say, I mean, the data cloud is all about the partners. It's uh, and also this event here. This event is not about you know Snowflake. It's about really our partners, you know, and our customers, you know, coming together. The data cloud is really uh, it's it, the foundation is of course you know our, the core capabilities, our platform, but then it's also all all the data that is in there that other companies can access from our customers, but then all the applications and capabilities that are built you know by our partners. And also our partners, like the, you know, all the SI partners that are here, they are the ones you know, doing the work you know, with our customers. They are the ones that are you know, migrating the data to, to Snowflake and the data cloud and helping these companies build this new you know, business model. So uh, Snowflake is a very, very partner first um, company. And uh, the only thing I really care about this week here is that all these you know, 200 partners here, that they are going to be tremendously successful. If they're successful, that means that you know all our customers are successful as well. So how is your digital strategy evolving and how do you include the, the partners in that? Yeah, I mean, we learned so much over the past you know, three, uh, three years in regards to that. So I mean, we all had to just accelerate um, our, the, the digital growth you know, of our marketing capabilities and how to do that you know, with our, our partners. So with many of them, you know, we started developing this joint account-based digital you know, marketing programs and we just all had to adapt and innovate really fast. And we're going to continue, of course, a lot of those motions as well. But at the same time, there's nothing like being out and meeting you know, customers you know, face to face. And what's also so important is the alignment we have with our local sales organization and our partners as well. So all these marketing programs that we develop in the fields, those are also again opportunities to kind of build those um, uh, relationships as well. Can you talk about the sales marketing alignment at Snowflake? I think it seems to be pretty strong, but we've talked a lot in the last day and a half about the retail data cloud, healthcare life sciences, media, finance. Talk to us about the marketing sales element, how marketing is facilitating, maybe from a campaign perspective, some of those big sales plays in the verticals. Yep. Uh, maybe what's unique here is that you know, our CRO, Chris Dengenan, I think has been here early on the show. I mean, we work together for over six years now and we truly work as one, one team. We, we don't really even see the lines between sort of sales and marketing. So we truly share exactly you know, the same objectives every day. We share the same focus on, on putting our customers and our partners you know, first every day. Um, his priorities you know, are my priorities you know, and vice versa. And I think the biggest challenges we see often in some companies between sales and marketing is that they're just shifting or different you know, priorities. It's so important just to align the priorities and for us to make sure that our teams are all around the world now are as aligned you know, as Chris and I are as well. A couple other yeah. uh, milestones or events come up. You're doing, like, uh, you're doing a worldwide tour and you got the Dev Conference in November. Uh, start with the worldwide tour, what's that all about? So we get a little break now here for, for a couple of weeks, and then we're taking all the best of content here for, from, from Summit, and also all you know, our partners uh, on a worldwide tour. We're starting in, um, in Asia uh, in August, and um, we're going to target over 20 cities around the world. So, uh, and again, I think this year, the challenge was many of our European customers and our customers in Asia, they couldn't make it. So we have um, smaller numbers you know, coming from those regions. So it's more, more important than ever that we just come out to them you know, instead and bring this content you know, to them. And is that all face-to-face, -face, or at least is it all face-to-face? -face? Is there a digital component yeah, as well? Yeah, it's actually going to be all face-to-face, -face, and there will be some, um, some digital components as well. Um, we're ending the tour in San Francisco, and that's also where we're go doing all our winter uh, announcements you know, as well. And also our um, build, our developer conference, that would be all virtual. The big, the global one, would be all virtual um, at the same time you know, from San Francisco. 
yeah. okay, am I confusing that with the November developer conference? Or? The, that, is, that is the conference, but right. it, that one will be virtual this year. Okay, so and dev, the build is all virtual. Yeah, in, build will be all virtual, and it's just so we have that opportunity to reach as many people as we possibly can. And then yeah. is, the, is, the, is the intent to eventually bring them in to one uh, place? Absolutely. Or? I mean, um, I think the dev conference, the plan is to really take that around the world you know, as well. We're seeing markets like Israel, for instance. There's a massive developer community that is, that is looking at Snowflake right now. Uh, markets like Indonesia, a uh, big developer segment as well. So I think it's not about you know, having people come to us, it's about we you know, coming out to them. So uh, markets like, again, yeah, Israel and Indonesia. And um, Will you also, in future, Summits include a, a development component. You probably have something here. I just haven't seen it yet. But but like the conference within the conference, or is it more? Hey, we want to cater to the t-shirt crowd, you know, separately. What yeah, do, I think we'll on? cater to them uh, yeah. separately. And I said again that we it's a really about taking our content, you know, out out to them. And uh, when we're talking about the developer audience, we're talking about hundreds and thousands uh, of people, and they, they they can't physically, you know, come here. So. Um, our plan is really to come out and uh, meet them where they are. How did you make the decision to do this summit fourth annual in person? I'm sure the attendance figures are probably blowing your mind, but that's a, that's a big decision and that's a challenging decision to make. How did they go about doing that? I think, I think if there's one thing we've learned uh, during the past three years, it's really about that adaptability is the new superpower you know, of, of bis business. So of course we've had to adapt you know, you know, every month and of course even two months ago, we were not sure you know, how, how many people that will be able to come here today. But uh, we're incredibly happy with the, with the, with the, with the number of people that you know, came here and um, yeah, we're already starting planning for next year. I mean, it definitely must have exceeded yeah. your expectations. Is that fair? Or? We set expectations high. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, it's that unknown that we all had to deal with you know, every day. And I think we're going to continue to have to, um, to live with that. Yeah, well, and, this, is, uh, yeah. this is one of the largest shows we've done. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's a reInvent, obviously, is different. Uh, that was last year, but this year, this is the biggest event I think we've been to. And we've been to some big brand events. So, yeah, yeah. You know, punching above the weight as usual. Yeah, <laughs> and again, I want to just give a big shout out to our whole you know, partner ecosystem you know, here, because again, this is very much of an ecosystem you know, partner you know, conference, and it's really all our 200 plus partners here making this conference what it is I mean, uh, today. It, it's remarkable the pace at which you've been able to grow the ecosystem. But, why do you think that is? What's the secret there? I think we fully understand that we don't solve all the problems ourselves you know, for, for our customers. It's really an ecosystem of, of products and services that solves those problems. And customers, they are looking for vendors that partner well with others. They're looking for vendors that integrate well you know, with each other. So um, we always have an outside in view on things. And that's something we challenge ourselves every morning we wake up. How do we put ourselves in the customer's shoes in terms of, of, of their needs and their problems and how to solve those? We don't solve them uh, alone. We, we solve them with these 200 plus in a partner. Make it sound so here. simple. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of challenges, you yeah. have something called the Startup Challenge that's in its second annual. Yes, tomorrow we're kicking off the, uh, the final of the uh, second annual startup challenge. We have three finalists here, three very different you know, companies. And we had a couple hundred applications uh, this year. And uh, we have everything from um, a company that makes AI and ML more accessible to a company focused on you know, retail you know, analytics. It's going to be very exciting tomorrow. Big prize for the winner. The um, winner uh, is going to win a million dollar of investment from, from Snowflake Ventures. So, um, very exciting. It's a nice incentive. It is very a nice coach. incentive. Very nice incentive. <laughs> and also all the exposure you will yeah, get as well. Sure. We will put a lot of uh, our marketing support you know, behind these companies as well. Excellent. And yeah. the, the Data Driver Awards program, we've had a couple of data drivers on the program in the last day and a half. Yes, we announced you know, those winners uh, as well you know, early in the week. So uh, a lot of recognition uh, for both our customers, but um, also we're going to see you know, the next 
interesting companies here to watch um, tomorrow during the startup challenge. You got a little bit of something for everybody here, right? I mean, the the the, the partner awards, right? These other little side opportunities for ecosystem to get recognition, sometimes yeah. funding. Yeah. It's yeah, everyone wants to be recognized you know, for the great work they're doing, so yeah. yeah so tough. what's next for marketing? Obviously a break and then you start the, the road show. So of course, uh, yesterday we made uh, a number of very, very large you know, announcements. Uh, many of those you know, we've been working on for years uh, here at Snowflake, like Unisor, you know, for instance, has been probably three years you know, in the making. So um, our goal now is to take all those announcements um, to every customer around the world. Um, both through you know local events really starting this week and then also the world tour this fall and um, it's going to be a big big focus on the developer segments obviously one of our most exciting announcements is the um, native apps um, you know capabilities and um, that finally you know we can bring the work you know to the data and not again taking the data to the work and as you know, our mission has uh, really been around breaking down the data silos because those have been the biggest you know, challenges companies have faced. Uh, that's really what's been standing in the way for customers to become you know, data driven. And um, now bringing the work to the data from a developer standpoint is going to mm. break down even further those silos. So, yeah. And it's good physics. Yes, good physics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tremendous opportunity. Congratulations on a great, successful event. It's not even done yet, but obviously we've seen so much success. Great news coming out. We'll be excited to be hearing some of the outcomes of the Roadshow and the developer conference coming up in the fall. We appreciate your insights, your time, and for having theCUBE here at the summit. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. For Denise Pearson and Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Snowflake Summit 22, live from Las Vegas. Dave and I will be back after a short break. <laughs>